Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. I uh, I promised I would do a tutorial for you guys on my HDP VR quality when I had 100 subscribers, so here you are. So, um, yeah, I cleaned my computer a bit after the last tutorial. Not much, but still. Okay, so you begin with opening ArcSoft Total Media Extreme, and here, the first one, it says video record. I don't know what it says in the English version, but you get to here. I don't have my Xbox on, you don't see anything. You take on your HDP VR, go to format stuff, I don't know what it should be called. Um, I have it all, I always have it on uh, 13, not 13.5, though. It's not necessary to have it on the really best, just if it's above 11, it's definitely good. Um, the audio encoder, it should be fine for both of them, but in the beginning, I had problems with one of them, it wouldn't show any audio in Sony Vegas, but now it's not anymore, so if you have it, just choose the other one. Just take this, so 13 megabyte per second, okay. Um, choose PlayStation 3, that's M2TS, that's the best, uh, that's the best format. And the input resolution says 720 by 480 but that's because my Xbox isn't on. If I turn it on, you see it changes to 720p, 1280 by 720 so it should be that. Don't put it on 1080i. I tried that, but it's not as good as 720p. See here? Whoa. So, 720p is what it should be. You cannot put it on uh, 1080p because the HDP VR doesn't support it, so just record when you're done recording go to Adobe After Effects I already have something here this is from my 100 subs thanks vid so get your clip in here I have it on quarter here just name it HD test I don't care just go and search for the part you want to be in the vid with oh, make the composition a bit bigger Here, go to the part where the good stuff is. Here, it starts around here. Uh, somewhere. Here. Okay. Here. Jesus. Okay, it starts around here. So if you have your clip. I'll just do the first no scope only and that ends around there yep. so let's do it like this and cut the composition to that trim comp to work area and then all you have to do well you can crop this a bit so that there aren't any black bars on the side and yeah if you want to you can add a color correction, curves and this up a bit, this down gives a nice contrast it's better than if you don't use it and in the vid I also used something I downloaded, it's real smart real smart motion blur and it gives a cool effect here you see uh, School effect motion sensitivity, you can really put it like down and blur amount, keep it at a half. It gives like nice blur when you move, looks really cool. You don't have to use it, but I think it's pretty cool. And then just save it. I don't save it. Well, if you're done, boom, composition, add to render queue. Now, here are the render settings click on lossless you don't want it lossless because then it's AVI and it's like 4 gigs for I don't know 1 minute and just go to QuickTime Movie and I uh, use Photo JPEG you can also use H.264 I use Photo JPEG should be both I used uh, both are okay I use H.264 also frames per second don't mess with that just press ok and be sure to check audio output otherwise you don't have audio 
So press OK. Give it a name. HD test. HD PVR test maybe. Um, save. And uh, these best settings should be OK. And then you render. So that could take a while. Like it, this isn't a long video what I'm rendering. But it yeah, could take a while, like 10 minutes, here yeah, 12 minutes, but we don't need to render now. And basically, if it's a short video, you're done, because this is the best quality you get straight out of After Effects. But like, if it's a long video from like 2 minutes or longer, the video size is too big, it's like 2 gigs already. And that just takes way too long to load and upload on YouTube. So what you want to do then, is go to v Sony Vegas Pro, and let's see, I'll take, pick a vid, do you, this one, and if you want to uh, downgrade, yeah, it's, it's going to be downgraded a bit, but you don't really see the difference, it's just going, uh, the file size will go from like 1 gig to uh, like 30 megabytes or something so then you go to render as and then you choose WMV in you can also use Sony Vegas Pro 9 then it's V9 you can also use that it doesn't make uh, any difference go to custom just use e everything I use here mode CBR blah 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 video also CBR, Windows Media Video 9, see it's the same as in uh, Sony Vegas 8, high definition, 1280 by 720, 720p on YouTube, pixel aspect ratio, keep it at 1, double NTSC is the best because it's the same as what you uh, used in After Effects, seconds per keyframe 3, video smoothness just 100 or at least 90. Bitrate, um, most people just use the bitrate they use to record um, the actual video, so 13 or 13.5, but that'll lag on YouTube. So I use 12, and that works fine. Make sure it's internet.lan, not any of those others. Here you can just leave this, just make sure this is best, otherwise the quality is just fucked up. Okay, then friend, then save this whatever you want okay name it HD test and then save it and it's gonna render so that should be all that's how you get the best quality for YouTube so let me get this straight you if it's a short video just only use After Effects and just render it in here blah 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 this is the best quality, but if it's too big, use Sony Vegas to render it again. Okay, so I hope this made sense to you. And um, yeah, I'll get this fit in the end of the video. So yeah, go and watch it and watch if the quality is any good. Okay, bye bye. Search and destroy. Destroy the objective! We've got the bomb!